happy Monday. You might have noticed that my garage is once again a mess. My wife and I started a project over the weekend and uh, I didn't clean up after myself. And now it's, it's time to record a video. So that's all right though, because this video is gonna be a little bit different and this entire week is gonna be a little bit different. Uh, all of us teachers have to go into the schools and get our classrooms cleaned up sometime in the next couple weeks. Get them like ready to go for the end of the year. And I'm sure you've probably been around several teachers at the end of the year. If they're anything like me, they put on Disney's Fantasia for two weeks and uh, they spend their time cleaning up the classroom while you're watching Fantasia. That's what I do anyway. Uh, so we're gonna miss out on that. So bummer, but I have to go in and and clean those classrooms up. So, and since it normally takes about two weeks, I can't really be doing that and recording these videos. So I'm just gonna not film for the next three days and go bust out all that work. Uh, but I have a project for you to work on while while I'm doing that. Uh, if it could be the rest of the year you're working on this project. You might bust it out this week. I, I don't know. This would be like a trial run, I guess, for what potential things we can do in the next few weeks. If I get some kids that are able to do this this week, then we'll, we'll take it a step further in the next couple weeks. But here's, here's the plan. I'm gonna teach you how to make those fancy four screen music video things. So like having the melody played up here and then you play the bass line over here and a harmony part over here and the drums over here or something. Uh, it's kind of a complicated thing to do. Not everybody's gonna be able to do it the same way I show you because we all have different technology at home. I think as long as you're either an Apple or a Windows person, you'll have a video editing program available somehow that can do this. Uh, I'm gonna show you the Apple way because I'm an Apple person. And uh, if you're a Windows person, it'll, it'll work too. There's, we can figure that out. Uh, by Thursday. Hey, what's up? It's it's me from the future. Keep those up. Stay safe. Stay safe, baby. I'm here to warn you of impending doom. Gosh, that's it's really hot. I'm just kidding. Uh, it's just that this video, I got done editing it, and it's already 23 minutes. We're gonna make this a three-parter. That's what we're gonna do. So, but I, I, I'm gonna, I'm still gonna finish it over the weekend and I'm gonna put them all up on Monday. So, you can either watch them all at once or you can keep watching Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and follow along that. Actually, no, based on the plan, that's still though. They will all go up at once. Uh, so, there's this one that's all about the filming process. Then we stopped right as we were moving all of those. Are you putting my glasses in your mouth now? Oh, those are my, those are my nice ones. Don't do that. Here, chew on the cheap ones. Uh, this is the first one, the filming process. The second one, I'll call it day 21, but I'll still put it up on day, sorry but I'll still put it up on day 20. Um, that one's gonna be about the editing process. Then the third one, I'll call it day 22, but it'll still be up on day 20. That one's going to be just me playing a bunch of metronome tracks. Uh, so I'll pick a few from the book, mostly the ones that have an A part and a B part. So I'll play those along with the metronome and put them up here. That way, you can use those to listen along 
to record the melody or the harmony or, or whatever else we're doing. Cool? Three parts for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. On Thursday, we're going to do something special. Uh, and then Friday is Oregon Trail based on this stuff now. And um, I've already got two of you that turned them in today, Friday, three days ago for you Friday. So those of you are already updated on the form. No, I'm not updating you on the form yet. I'll update you on this coming Friday one. And it's time to go. Thursday, I'm gonna start up the, uh, the Oregon Trail video for this week. So if you have, this will be the, the third thing on the assignments page. Keep practicing, practice scales, third thing, you get a bonus. Uh, the third thing this week is if you can figure out how to work your technology to get a video recorded in sync with one of my videos, and I'll, I'll show you how to do it. If you get that sent to me by Thursday morning, you'll be in that video the Oregon Trail video, um, and we'll, we'll see how it goes. You'll get the bonus. I don't know what the bonus is. Maybe by the end of this filming, I'll uh, have thought of something, and I'll add it to the end of the video. But yeah, let's, let's get started here and see what you guys need to be able to do this. So here's what you need. Main thing, you're gonna need at least two devices. I use my phone and an iPad mostly. You can also use a laptop, a desktop. You can use two phones. You can use what, whatever. You can use a phone and a laptop. You can use an iPad and a desktop. But you need, you need two electronic device things. You need headphones for this style of recording either bluetooth head bluetooth headphones or plug-in headphones will work you just need to be able to listen to the other music tracks in your head while you're playing yours and yeah you need so you need headphones uh, you need music, something you need. Uh, we're, I'm gonna start with Lightly Row. It's out of book one. I've, uh, I've even made up another part that's gonna go along with it. So you need two devices, you need headphones, music, and of course, you need an instrument. So we're gonna, we're gonna start off with this horribly annoying thing. Okay, I'm all set up and I'm ready to record the first thing. Let me turn this off first. To record your first thing, you're gonna want one of your devices to be used as a metronome. And just like you were able to hear that just now, you wanna be able to hear that metronome not in headphones. We're not using the headphones yet, not for this first take. They stay there. So we've got one device set up as a metronome clicking away in the background. We want to be able to hear that both now and in the recording we're going to make. And then I have my phone set up as a, uh, to actually record the video and the audio. Make sure your phone's not set to any kind of Bluetooth. You need your phone to be just regular, empty, ready to record right on the phone. Cool. So we're going to start the recording, we're going to start the metronome, and then we're going to play our first recording. I'm going to play the melody to Lightly Row out of book one. So we start this recording. We start our metronome, and we play. One, two... Always count yourself in. Count yourself in so that you can hear yourself in the future when you're gonna start. Cool. One, two, one, two, here.
and then you stop everything. My email went off in the middle of that. So you heard that little email notification thing? That's another thing to check. Make sure like sounds that can potentially interrupt you are turned off because you can waste a lot of time by finally getting a really good take. And then the email goes off. I'm going to leave it for now. And, and here's why. This first recording is only ever going to be heard by me in my ears. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that recording that I just made. I'm going to send it over to another device if, if I want to keep recording on that one. And it, it makes sense too. I want to keep using my phone to record. So I'm going to send the recording on my phone over to my iPad. And then, then I will be able to listen to that video through my headphones on this iPad while I play the melody again, recording it onto the phone. And I'll have that melody without the metronome clicking in the background. I'll still be able to hear the metronome. I need to be able to hear the metronome in order to link these things up right. But I don't want the metronome clicking away in my final video, so I need to re-record that melody now without the metronome. I hope that makes sense. I'm gonna send the video over and then I'll, uh, I'll see you on the other side. All right, I'm back. So I've got my iPad back here on this music stand. That's what's hooked up to these headphones. So I can hear what's playing on my iPad, but now you can't hear me. So I'm gonna play that and I'm gonna play along again. Remember, I counted off in that video so I know exactly where I need to go to get to my count off and I'll know when to start playing. For this second video now, I'm still playing the melody, but you won't be able to hear the metronome. Here we go. Then we hit the stop. We just hit stop on our second recording and I think it was pretty clean. Uh, I'm sure there were some birds in the background. Uh, I think my water heater turned on right at the end. So you might've heard that pop, like heat up. That's, uh, that's on there now. That's my, I'm, I'm leaving it. I don't wanna redo it. So it's, we got my water heater sound on there. I don't think it picked up my email ding, and I don't think it picked up any of the uh, metronome. It was recorded onto my phone here, so let's play this back, and we'll make sure it was doable. You'll see I now have two, two videos on here. One is of the first one that has the metronome, and then the second one that I just now played. So you can't hear that metronome and stuff going on anymore. Only I can hear it in that video in my headphones. All right, you get the point. So we've got the melody recorded. That's our final take of the melody. Now we're gonna keep, we, we still have on this iPad, we still have the original melody with the metronome, with the email chime. And I'm just gonna keep listening to that as I record the other parts of this song. In the book, there's a B part. That's what I'm gonna play next. Then in the piano part of the book, there's really kind of a third line. There's like a C part. So I wrote that out separately. I wanna record that C part. And then uh, there's two bass lines because there's two notes going on in the bass line part. So I'm gonna record both of those. 
and I'm gonna see if I can get five videos on this one edit. I've got my original recording playing on my iPad going into my headphones. Now I'm going to record the second part, the B part, back onto my phone in a separate video. I'm not exactly sure if that sounded right. It felt funky at first, even though I had practiced. And what I didn't do is I didn't practice with my headphones in. And uh, it cuts out a lot of sound and it makes things sound the way they, they shouldn't be sounding. That might have been absolutely perfect, but it sounded terrible to me because I forgot to do this. Now in this ear, I'm going to be able to hear what this is sounding like. In this ear, I can hear that and it's, it's just going to work out a lot better. It, trust me, use only one, one ear in your headphones when you're recording. Cool. Let's try that again. I've never had that problem when I recorded before. What just happened? I can't play my lower notes all of a sudden. <laughs> There's not... I... I don't understand what's happening with this recorder. I mean, you heard me play it before. You know I can play this recorder. What? I don't know what all that was about. It's it's quite fine now. I I never seen that happen in a. I, I used to teach general music. I taught fourth graders these things. I'm, I don't know. Oh well. There we go. One, two. So I just recorded onto the phone. I now have two parts, separate tracks on that phone. And I know they're synced up because when I listened to them, I was listening, or when I recorded them, I was listening to the same metronome track. So I know they'll be able to sync up. Uh, I have to go pull my trumpet out because I just realized there's notes in the part that I wrote here for the C part that uh, you can't play on that recorder. It goes down too low. So we'll just, uh, we'll have different instruments in one track. It's cool. That's, that's the way we do it. All right, I got my trumpet here now. We got this video playing. I can hear me talking in my ear right now. I'm waiting for that count off. I don't think I held that last note out quite long enough. I stopped playing trumpet and I still heard recorder in my ear. I want all those notes to end it at just the right time. So I'm gonna try it one more time. Take three.
So that third take was a lot better. Don't expect that you're gonna be able to get through all of these things in one take. That's why you've got the whole week to do this. This is a week long project. This isn't something that you're probably gonna do in one sitting. In fact, right now, I'm gonna go take a break. And when I come back, I'm gonna bust the piano out. And uh, I guess I gotta clean up a little bit so I can get the piano set up again just for these two takes. But uh, I wanna play the bass notes in the right register and piano's the only thing I got around here that plays bass. So we'll see you after breakfast. Once you've got everything recorded, we're gonna we're gonna leave it there. We're only gonna do four. I know I said five. Whatever. I don't even do four. Uh, it'll make the editing easier too. I think. I think. We'll see. Um, but I've got everything on my phone. All of those takes, the final takes of each one, are on my phone. I have to send them over to here. Um, there's a lot of ways you can do that. However, you sent the first one over, you know, it's the same thing. I use AirDrop because I've got all of these Apple devices. I can AirDrop anything as long as your files are less than five minutes or so. If it's bigger than five minutes, AirDrop might give you some problems. Uh, you can text, I mean, it's just a video. It's like you're texting your buddy. You text a video to yourself or whatever, and it'll show up on whatever device you're connected to. You could email it to yourself. You could, I, I don't know. There's, there's all kinds of ways. I teach orchestra, not cell phone. Android probably has a fancy way. Long story short, we're going to take all of our content from here, send it to our computer, iPad, other, whatever device you've got that has a video editor on it. There's two main ones. I might have mentioned them before at the beginning of this video. I can't keep all this stuff straight anymore. Uh, if you're on Apple, you have access to iMovie. You can go into the App Store and iMovie is completely free. It does take up a lot of space. So if you've got like a family iPad that's everything is stored on there and you don't have a lot of room, you might not be able to do this. I'm, I don't know. Um, yeah. Uh, on Windows, if you've got, if you've got like the, I don't even know what they're called. The tablets the schools have. I, I mean, I think, I don't even think they're Android tablets. I don't know. But if you've got a Windows based system, then you should have access to Windows Movie Maker. And it's pretty much the exact same thing. Some of the things might be called different things. And I'm not exactly sure what they are. I'll look up a couple of like tutorials for Windy Windows Movie Maker and I'll put that terminology down at the bottom of the screen in the edit. So if you're looking at that, if I say picture in picture and Windows calls it something else, then I'll put that down there. Cool. We'll see you uh, in part two, all about the editing process right above this video. No, probably below the video. I'm gonna put them in one, two, three order.